back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really good. I'm in sunny Cornwall, as you can see. Always count on the rain in Devon and Cornwall, that's for sure. But we're still having a good time. We're not gonna let the rain stop us from having fun. So I'm actually in St. Ives this weekend, and I'm just gonna shout out from the wind a minute. So I've come down to St. Ives, um, with my family actually this weekend. We're staying in like a holiday park. I have brought the van down, still keys parked up. But I thought I'd come down here, come down to the beach and just have a little walk. Um, I've not actually been here in about a year. And the last time I was here, it was stunning weather. It seems turquoise, crystal clear, flat. It is like being abroad in St. Ives. If you haven't been, put it in your list. It's stunning in the summer. And to be honest, it's equally stunning now. I'll show you in a minute. Even though it's like miserable, it's still just the scenery. The views are amazing. And we've actually just caught the train from um, Hale, I think it's Hale, sort of that end, through to St. Ives Town. So we went through Carvis Bay, Port Kidney, and the views on the train are insane. It is so worth just getting on that train. It's like two pounds or something stupid. Tide is coming in, but yeah, it, in the summer, this place is insane and it does get super busy as well. But Carvis Bay over there. Couldn't see that a minute ago. It was super misty, so I'm glad it's clearing up. And the town's over there, through there. So yeah, do you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and catch up and go into the town and have a little mooch around. Let's go. It is awful, awful weather. Um, I have done a little bit of retail therapy, not gonna lie. Um, I am going to Thailand next week. I don't know if I told you that. <laughs> so in this weather, I can't wait. I did plan on getting in today. Did bring all my kit, but I, I think I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. I just don't feel like conditions are a bit off, very choppy, um, it's just nah, slow. I think now, what shall I do? Limited with time, I'm thinking, going over here, maybe have a walk over to that lighthouse, see what views we can see over the other side, yeah? So I'm back at the park in the lodge. Uh, the weather has just got worse and worse. So I'm so glad that we came back when we did. Awful out there. So the plan for tonight, I'll just show you. It's very, very basic. I was half tempted to stay in the van. We're just gonna get some food, just catch up, and then head down to the clubhouse and listen to all the cheesy music. Play a bit of bingo. I absolutely love a bit of bingo. So I'm looking forward to that. And just to spend time with my family, really. So it's quite a chilled weekend. Normally I'd go out exploring a bit more, but you know, I want to spend time with them. So yeah, and the weather. I don't know if you can hear that. It is horrendous out there. I'm planning on getting up early tomorrow. The weather's looking nicer. Head back down to St. Ives, go for a nice coffee. Go for a sea swim. Yeah, I feel like I've taken you so many different places over the past few weeks. We've had the van, we had the um, lodge cottage last week, which was insane. And then this week, it's like the van slash another lodge. But 
it's just kind of the way it's gone at the moment. The van has been playing up a little bit as well. Plus, St. Ives is so nice this time of year because apart from the weather, you get to escape the crowds. In the summertime, it's like shoulder to shoulder people. So I would definitely recommend coming down here in like probably June. Also forgot that I bought these. When the woman offered me a chocolate, I couldn't really refuse a chocolate. And then obviously I couldn't not buy them. So I very much look forward to these later when I get back and get the, uh, you know, the late night munchies. Good morning. It is the morning after. And to be honest, I'm feeling quite fresh. I just popped out for a walk around the park. Cause it's actually quite pretty. I don't know where I'm going actually. Oh, okay, right in front of me. There we go. This is cute. This might not be a good idea because, yeah, it is completely waterlogged and muddy. And I've got like fresh trains on. Hmm. Well, you know, it all very much the same, isn't it? Woods, trees, mud. Cool, I've seen it now. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> I'm at the van and I'm anticipating driving down to Carbis Bay because from what I remember, it's a very steep hill, very tight parking and that's fine. I just don't know if she's gonna make it back up the hill. She's not been behaving lately, um, so that'll be fun. But anyway, it'll be fine. But first, I just wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Y Food. I am obsessed with Y Food. I've been drinking them for about a year now. And if you don't know what Y Food is, you're missing out. So they are meal replacement drinks, so delicious. They keep me full for about three to four hours, which is why I'm about to have one now for my breakfast. But they're just great. If you're on the go, you don't have time to cook, they're just ideal. They have 26 vitamins and 34 grams of protein, which is why they keep you so full. So you're getting all your nutrition in one drink. And they have six different flavors in the vegan range, which is the range I opted for. They do have a regular range with more flavors. And I will just show you some of the flavors now. So I'm gonna go for the coffee one this morning to keep me full and give me a caffeine boost. Got the banana, vanilla, chocolate, Choco, which is one of my favorites. Then we've got the berry. And this one is the latest one. This is the spiced coffee. And it's actually really good. I had it the other day. There you go, Y Food. Go and check them out, guys. They're such great meal replacements. I'll leave a discount code just here and I'll also leave it in the description. Go and check it out. Let's go. Carbis Bay uh, and being a little mermaid chilling on a rock. Let me show you my gorgeous, gorgeous view. Look at that for a beat. Absolutely stunning. Isn't it? It's gorgeous. So I've tucked myself right at the end of the beach. I've come to this end. So I thought, chill here for a minute, have my drink. And then I can have a nice little walk along the beach to wherever I fancy. Today is a much nicer day than yesterday. It's cleared up, you can see the views over there. The sea's fairly calm, so I could potentially get in. Did bring my stuff, I'm kind of procrastinating. Do I wanna get in? I don't, I don't know, I might not. I can't be bothered to be honest. It was a bit of a, bit of a faff getting down here. The van's like quite far away. Um, maybe, it's not that cold really. Like, took my jumper off bit of a sweat on walking across the beach like a minute ago but yeah over there you have the Carbis Bay Hotel which is absolutely stunning me and Tom stayed there about two years ago it's gorgeous so if you ever fancy treating yourself like do it so you feel like I'm abroad the beach is just stunning if we had the weather it's just like, it could be anywhere in the world. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh. 
honestly, I'm not even going to attempt going up there because I will slip on that moss. So, yeah. Let's move on. How much is that? Oh my god, I really, I really want to go in there. I want to climb up and go in. But, I'm not going to. I want to though. This is just magic. Basically, all this entire beach to myself. Oh, there's no little case. Oh my god, I could actually get in there. Wow. Oh. It stinks. Oh, pumpkin. <laughs> I just sat on a little sandbank and the sun is there trying to come through. Please do. Then I'm sat right next to the lovely Carvis Bay waterfront accommodation. How gorgeous is that? And the beach is clearing up nicely. I think I've scared everybody off. Should I get in? I'm actually very tempted. I think I'm going to just go over that way. Just get to the end of the beach. It seems to be taking me ages. I keep just stopping off, just sitting down and admiring the view, looking at caves. Get in and then maybe get a hot chocolate or something. I said, I'm a tad, only the tiniest bit hangover. Had a few beers. But this is definitely sorting me out. Kind of makes me feel a little bit ill. I hate it when like little dots, things are really close together. It's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me feel really sick. That is amazing though. Wow. Not obviously going to get fully in there, but I am going to just go in because I just feel like it. That can be my dip for the day. This looks so cute. But I am a little bit claustrophobic. I'm not keen on that narrowness. Yeah, Shit. I've actually just been sat at this end of the beach now for about half an hour going in and out of the cave. That was really pretty. Tide's coming in fast and furious. So probably can't stay here too much longer. I've got really sandy feet, sandy wet socks, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna head back up that way, potentially grab a cuppa. It doesn't look like anything's open, apart from the restaurant where people are having nice meals. And I don't really wanna rock up in there looking like this with sand all over me. We'll see what's going on. If not, I probably will just go for a roast dinner. I think my family are up for a roast, so I might meet them after this. Just have another little walk around. I've arrived at the pub, which I believe is called the Watermill. Looks really cute. Really nice garden. Perfect beer garden. Definitely be back here when it's sunny. I think my family are inside waiting, so I better make this quick. Oh, cute little bridge. Watch me fall through. <laughs> oh, how pretty is that? Hello. Sorry, that was a little bit of abrupt, an abrupt ending yesterday. So I am back at Carvis Bay. Here again. Couldn't resist. I know there's plenty of other beaches around. I did want to take my mum down here so she's back there with the rest of the family having some breakfast and a coffee and I thought you know what I'm gonna get in the sea so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take you with me as always sea's looking actually more calm today than yesterday so pick the right day for it it's actually a lot brighter so yeah let's get in
let's do it. I feel like it might be a little bit colder than where I am in Devon, just because we're on the Atlantic coast. We'll soon find out. Oh, it's not actually too cold, considering. Well, it's pretty clear, but we're gonna do it. One, two. Shit, it's actually a bit cold now, I'm getting deeper. Okay, two, three. Ah! <gasps> Whew. Woo! Okay, got my breath. I've got my breath. Wow, this is lovely. This is cold, to be honest. But it's damn refreshing. And that sun is out. My mum's over there, like, what on earth is this crazy girl doing? Oh my god, the sun though. It's lovely. I'll be doing this next week, but I'll be doing it in 35 degree heat. Cannot wait. It is super refreshing though. How blue it is. so refreshing i've needed that all weekend should have done it the other day oh. right i'm gonna warm up now get myself a coffee thought i'd leave my mark the adventures looks why do the adventures look really long i mean <laughs> it just looks a bit weird on top of a really quite a big hill I didn't think it'd be that high up don't know why but yeah that's that's pretty special so I think St Michael's Mount dates back to like the 8th to 11th century I just read that's so old it's incredible and there's a lots of legends and myths around this so I'm quite intrigued to learn a bit more when the tide's in I believe there is a boat you can get to take you over there but luckily the tide's out so this entire path is usually well when the tide's in completely covered by the sea amazing we were lucky that the tide's out had no idea. Apparently someone lives in the castle as well. Baby was born last week. Had no idea. What a cute place to live. Gotta love it. I wanna live here. I wanna live up there. It's cool with me. I think Michael's man. I think that's more me, isn't it? <laughs> wonderful place St Michael's Mount is. I had no idea that's what it was. I thought it was just a tiny little island with St Michael's Mount. I didn't realise there was a whole little community village there. People live there, you can stay there. It was so quirky and ancient and so much history. We were lucky to have just randomly got there at low tide so we were able to walk along the causeway while the tide was low. In the season, which starts in a couple of weeks, they have a boat on so you can jump on the boat when it's high tide and still visit. Um, but yeah, it was amazing to see it all. I can't wait to go back there in the summer when I'm with Tom or on my own and have a proper explore, spend a little bit longer there. But yeah, it was just lovely. I would totally recommend heading over to St. Michael's Mount if you're down in Cornwall and in Penzance. 
yeah, it was great. But for now, I'm gonna call it there, guys, because I'm heading back now. Hopefully, Storky will make it back home okay. And again, thank you so much for watching. As you're watching this, I'm probably in the sky on my way to Thailand, can't wait. And I will be showing you my adventures over there. So this, the next video might be a little bit longer, maybe a couple of weeks. But I'm really excited to get over there and of course take you with me. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care guys.